Goes one thing you, which you do find is that people are so moved that they come, they become themselves involved with the situations and may decide, you know, to become an advocate for one side or another in a conflict or for one particular group or another. Um, and that's quite that. I think from the point of view of journalism ethics, that's quite a difficult dilemma to deal with. The idea of, of complete objectivity being achievable, I think, is, is probably impossible. Nevertheless, if you take that approach, if you, if you seek impartiality, then you try to keep yourself out of it, you're trying to tell the story, after all, about the people who um, you're covering. Uh, and some people wouldn't agree with me at all, but I, I would also say that if you do take sides, you cease to be a journalist to a large extent, and you become a polemicist or an activist. A good degree of respect for the people that you're speaking to, you know. Uh, and I think another really good piece of advice is to listen. It's something, you know, we're supposed to be good answering questions, don't take no for an answer. And all the, so, some really successful journalists are excellent listeners, uh, let people talk. Um, from the ethical point of view, I think, um, you know, you, I think you always have to try to be fair, as fair as you can. Access is absolutely key to the covering of armed conflict and by which I mean access not just to physical locations but also obviously access to information too. Think about your sources as well. Who's telling you this and why are they telling you it because almost certainly they will have some kind of agenda. That doesn't mean to say the information is not useful but it just means you need to think about it when you're putting it in its proper context which also is a very vital ingredient of uh, the successful reporting of armed conflict. A lot of conflicts are prompted by historical reasons, by, for religious reasons, and you need somehow, however hard it is, to get it into a short news report to reflect those two. And no assessment of any kind of uh, journalism these days can be complete without taking into account the effects of changing technology, which has revolutionised the gathering and distribution of news over the last two decades and will continue to do so. Thank <music> you.